Adam went deep into his soul to think of what topic could we have this week. And uh, precisely 2.6 seconds later, <laughs> he said, let's do a Q&A. Q&A. If Bade could replace Josh with anyone else as a co-host, who would it be? Anyone. <laughs> so where this wedding was, there's like mountains in the background. I'll show you a picture afterwards. But it was amazing. But it looked like a Lord of the Rings thing because Tom is like a big fan. And in his vows, he actually makes reference to Albus, Wolfric, Percival, Brian Dumbledore. Is that Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Or? No, Harry it? Potter? You're, like, you're oh, fucking fuck testing God. me, boy. It was bad enough when you I said you were not Lord of the Rings. Oh. <laughs> if you didn't make competitive eating videos, what other videos would you want to Begging make? Begging videos. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. And I'm Josh. Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of the Break Your Bread. Br- <laughs> fucking Break Your I don't know why. I just. I burnt my tongue on some coffee that Josh made me, which is like 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or something. So that I'm blaming that for why I just fucked up the intro. We're just going to leave that in. Yeah. Well, welcome back. We've got another episode for you today. I'm wearing the same clothes because we're recording it. Uh, <laughs> look, at, look at my invisible watch. About 12 minutes after the last one ended. But we're still kind of quite high on energy, aren't we? And Surprisingly. You know, fake energy, caffeine. But uh, we're going to bring you another episode. I think all that talk about the Grinch fetish has just like fired us up. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about there, go back and listen. skip to the end of the last one. Or oh, don't, actually. But don't, don't, <laughs> You maybe missed that bit. Yeah. How you going, mate? Man, I'm, I, like you how's said, your, how's your pee break? It was a nice pee break. It was a surprise how much energy we have still got. Maybe thanks, we should like dis- the coffee. Distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? We haven't seen each other for a few weeks. Yeah, that bit of a time off, that little holiday. Well, I am fucking off again and this weekend. Yeah, so. where, where are you going? Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. What are you going to Sweden for? <laughs> to film videos, man. <laughs> where, where? I'm not going to like see the IKEA, the first <laughs> IKEA that was ever made as well. You got your friends over there taking you around or? No, no, I'm going like, uh, going, well, going I've, solo. I've actually managed to, uh, you know, I, I normally fly out places. I don't really have much of a plan. And yes. People don't really believe that, but um, I, I, I prefer it that way. But this time, because of the nature of it, I've had to plan where I'm going to be, uh, on, like on what days, hopefully. But I'm actually flying into uh, Copenhagen because it's easier uh, than... I mean, it, most of the food channels are kind of around Gothenburg, right, pretty okay. much, rather than Stockholm. Yeah. But you can only get to Gothenburg from Manchester on Ryanair, and that ain't happening, man. I, they, <laughs> they know where I'm flying, flying right, Ryanair. So uh, it's actually, I thought it'd be quite scenic to go over that bridge, what do they call it? Ost- Osterund or Ostund Bridge or something from Denmark to Sweden. Yeah, yeah. And it's basically quicker than, almost as quick, basically. How long are you there for? Only a week. Ah. Three, three I think I'm planning on three maybe four videos we'll see busy busy week then busy week uh we've got a, an exciting episode planned today um adam went deep into his soul to think of what topic could we have this week and uh precisely 2.6 seconds later <laughs> he said let's do a q and a he's like we've got all them new subscribers um all 30 of them on youtube so maybe you've got some questions for us <laughs> uh, just gets bad he'd be like fucking q and a come on man but if you remember mine was the last uh not this one the one we just did but before that I, that was my idea can i just say those that are listening or watching um if you want to get involved in the q and a you must follow the instagram page um, because that's where we add the questions thing into the stories. So like, if you do want to get involved, that's where you need to go. George, what, what's Breaking Bread PD, yeah? Breaking Bread PD. PD, yeah. PD. Why, why Breaking Bread PD? Because Breaking Bread Pod taken. had been taken by some scumbag. Yes, yeah, so you could have been like Breaking Bread uh, admin or Breaking Bread official, official or Breaking Bread... Fuck anything. Any, we could, po- we could, P- it's not even pod or P- it's P- not even P- PC. PD, PD. We've, I mean, we've committed now, aven't we? Yeah, Pedo. Um, so yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's start like we normally start. Though, have we got any? Uh, have we got any comments for this one? Or we just got, get, it's kind of a comments we've based. We've got two YouTube comments. Endeavor. If you want. And to is talk. any any? Yeah, let's do the any about Curdle Team. No. Okay. Oh, how long that's taken? <laughs> <clears throat> it's time for a YouTube comment from you. Okay, so first comment from Hoppy Seven Five One. Love these podcasts. This is how it should be. Completely unscripted. Just three friends having some banter. Too much structure, planning and order would ruin it. Keep it up. Oh, right. thanks. Well, I'm happy to hear that because uh, yeah. structure, <laughs> order and planning is not our part. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we've lasted this long, to be honest. Cheers. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Hoppy or bunny or whatever. Hoppy. 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 Hoppy bunny. Might just be in a beers. We nearly ran over a hoppy bunny up way off an airport the night. That was yeah. sketchy, yeah. Good taking it home and eating it, though. <laughs> Place not want that. 
And the second comment from, I like this username, Feck Neddy. Uh, so will we get to see the Finland trip this year? <laughs> Maybe try as a Christmas series. Also, why don't you do the famous food challenge, Cool Han Luke, Hard Boiled Eggs? Um, yeah, Finland, probably those videos be up. Um late November, early December. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I did actually, this the cool hand Luke thing was probably like the, it was in probably, I think the first 10 videos I ever did. I deleted it cause it was disgusting. Um, but yeah, I've already done that. It wasn't nice though. It, it was unpleasant. How many eggs do you have to eat? 50. Oh yeah. The funny thing is like, I could eat like, I reckon I could do like a hundred fried eggs because it's so easy to yeah. eat. Boiled eggs have that kind of more, you know, they, they, there's more structure to them almost. Um, so yeah, if, if, if it makes you gag after about 20 of them. Fucking hell. Um, but I've, yeah, I did that already, mate. Uh, but it's, it wasn't really worth watching. So um, even had it not been deleted by me, um, <laughs> I wouldn't advise you to go back and seek it out or anything. I can't even imagine the smell of your fucking farts after that. Good God. Probably best not to think about it, George. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. I <laughs> recall it being particularly bad. They're, they're never really great, George. So, I mean, it's a sliding scale, isn't it? I mean, they might, they might have been worse, but like, how bad can they get? <laughs> I, I fired on airport transfer of a day, like middle of the night, and even the fucking driver were coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gets to the back of your throat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chili were like, Daddy, that's disgusting. Like, pulling the pajamas over her face. <laughs> Sold out Daniel by your own me, uh, Daniel was not impressed. <laughs> oh, well. Right, should we get into some uh, q and A's? q and a q and a Okay. Q&Q&Q&A. Q and Q and Q and Let's go. You can talk to him with the rugby boys, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> so this first comment is, uh, question is from Cyrax. Is there a dream destination for a challenge? Wasn't Cyrax a character in like Mortal Kombat 8 or something? <laughs> no idea, mate. Right, sorry. Um, <laughs> Sauce Grandad, we don't know how to answer that one. Like a dream destination as in like a, cu- a country or like a particular restaurant. Why isn't it a fucking dream oracle? Just think, like figure it out. Like it, that's all That's all. Well, I've, do, bro. I've, I've always, re- I, re- I think I've t- said this before, but there's, a, there's this one that I've always really wanted to do. Um, at a pl- where it used to be a, quite a big chain called Tom and Chi in America, right? They were on that show uh, Shark Tank, which is like the American version of Dragon's Den. And they used to have, I think, I don't know, 50 locations, but I think they've just been gradually in decline and there's only maybe a handful left. And they did this thing called the Baker's Dozen Challenge, which is that they do grilled cheese donuts, right? So they cut donuts, make a grilled cheese sandwich out of them. And you had to eat 12 12 of them. um, Plus they then do a grilled cheese. They do the normal one, just cheese and a donut. And then they do ones that are flavored, so like Nutella on them or whatever. Um... And uh, I think if you have to do it in 10 minutes or something, but I, I really wanted to do it when I was in, during was in, I think it was January when I was in like Tennessee and Kentucky yeah. and whatnot. Cause it's, and I went up to Indiana for that schnitzel thing and I messaged them. And I told you that they were like, oh uh, yeah, you, but we need to ask the marketing team. I'm like, there's no marketing team. man. There's like three <laughs> restaurants left. Like, you, I, the, 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 like if they just said no, I'd be like, okay, cool. But they had let an, uh, another, the reason I only reason I knew it exists is like another, I suppose, more, a smaller ch- channel, I guess, had done it recently. And I'm like, oh, so they still do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they let him do it. And I'm like, can, can I come do it? And they're like, uh, well, not really. And I'm like, I right, honestly, whatever. like, I do understand your frustration. I mean, to try and book those couple in for you this last few weeks and seeing how difficult restaurants are. And I think what, what happens is like some somebody just on their marketing team is answering the DMs and emails and don't really understand yeah. the, the effect that it could have. Like if you... Would you like a million people to to see what's going on here? Pretty much overnight, yes or no? They don't quite understand. Yeah, that. but like I, I get, I don't mind people <clears throat> saying no, like that that's fine. But like if it's some kind of odd oblique reason, like you could, you could just say yeah, we don't want to do it. It's weird that right. that's that that is like on your bucket list. You should send that clip this, George. Send it to him, DM him. Say listen. They won't reply, mate. Other probably say, oh, yeah, <laughs> let me <laughs> yeah. let me speak to marketing or something. I, I don't know, but uh, I, I've always really wanted to do that one. But of course, I'd love to do that. Uh, the Big Texan, really famous one in Amarillo that, uh, you know, that the Simpsons episode was based on. I've been there. Been to that yeah. restaurant, yeah, yeah. You didn't do a challenge? Are you joking me, man? <laughs> it's fucking I ain't guy. got your pockets. Do you know how expensive it is? Like, a, well, if you lose. Are you very expensive? <laughs> like $100 or something? I think you owe more than that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because there's a big bull outside of it, so I'm like, I, I got, I, there's a picture of me swinging off its uh, bull nose ring. You I'll try to find it. I'll try to find do it. that or no? 
I don't know, I did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, but that, yeah, that's it. Cool. Okay, the next one from Fifty Shades of Beige. <laughs> Why it, that? <laughs> if Beige could replace Josh with anyone else as a co-host, who would it be? Anyone. <laughs> 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 no, uh, like if, if we're talking like one episode. Mate, that is the question. <laughs> I don't have it's any more. You just got to get like you. Mate. Um, uh, uh, let's say... Um, I'm really thinking about this one. I'm trying... Jack D. Maybe that's too Who's much Jack of the same D? thing. Who's fucking Jack D? How old are you? Like 12 no, or No, I know his name. Is he a comedian? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know why I said Jack D because uh, that might be too much the same thing. I need somebody who's like opposite to me, like yeah. you, like kind of positive. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Where am I take away? No. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, what about Hard da- pass. What about our boy Damo? <laughs> Day- 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 Can you pass me some of the uh, cum tissue? I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Please. The toilet paper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, that's not what it's been used for. <laughs> We're keeping this in. <laughs> sure thanks so, cheers mate yeah Demo would be a good shout he, he wants to come back on does Demo yeah we said he's, I'm said, I said he's more than welcome I left a, I, you see he did a he did a video if you didn't if you don't know what we're talking about Damien, uh, we had a guest on called Damien who talks about like serious finance stuff so called Damien Talks Money on YouTube yeah, it'd be, yeah. It's, it might not be for most people to listen to this but um, he put up a video recently but he did like a collaboration with a different YouTube guy who does the same thing but they each did a video which went up on their own channels, but it was presented in part by the other person. So it'd be like uh, me putting a video on your channel, but it's me starting it, or yeah, you yeah, putting yeah. it on mine and you starting it. Which, and then they appear halfway through in like funny little segments, like there's a part where Damien's in the bath drinking some coffee. Or I haven't something. seen this yet. Um, which I thought was like really unique, naturally. I looked at the comments for a uh, morbid curiosity, oh, and there's a lot of uh, negative reaction there. But I, I quite like my comment because I said, uh, this reboot of Face Off is a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, he, he just replied and said, shouldn't you be eating like a bucket of fermented herring or something like that? He can take, he can take the bad air. Uh, yeah, m- maybe Damien, I think he'd be, he'd, he'd be all right, yeah. I don't know, mate. You should have prepped me with these, man. Who would you, cha- who would you change one of us for? <sighs> let's be honest, the first person to be getting booted would be Adam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> out of this trio yeah, that's going on. <laughs> he's bringing the eyes though, isn't he? So you can't Fucking get Fucking barely. There's about 14 <laughs> people listen to it every week. Now more people just come back for, most people say Josh people carries it. come back for Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Next one from Mary B 93 Mary Berry. Would you ever open your own restaurant only serving eating challenges varying in difficulty? No. <laughs> come back and do me elaborate on that. <laughs> just, purely, I don't have the time to open or run a restaurant and I wouldn't want to have a restaurant... I'm not saying I would never do it. Maybe I'd like maybe a, a small bistro at some point later in my life when I've retired. Um, but be, so it'd have to be something that I could, I'd be there to, you know, mm. quality control and whatnot. I don't like the idea of people using the name or whatever to. Um, see, I saw like a, a Dragon's Den that. person doing like a, a breakdown of like the business of a one of a hotel, but one then of a restaurant and how expensive it is to run a restaurant. It's just astronomical. Yeah, and it's highly competitive, right? As yeah. well. So likely most restaurants that start do. Uh, you don't necessarily need to let it put you off, but like a lot of them do fail. Um, and I wouldn't just serve food challenges from the menu because like then you, you're you destroying 90% of your client base, right? Because yeah. people are just going to want to... I'd maybe... Ha- I would have to have one, I guess, on the menu and it would not be a full English breakfast or a burger <laughs> or a pizza. It'd be something very, what, very unique. What would your... I've, this is what it's all about, this episode. What do you think would be like the dream? This is like some free market material for a restaurant, by the way. What would be your go-to food challenge? I do, I do something. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It have to be just something that's unique. So I probably do something like um, it's maybe one of those where you have to kind of beat the previous. Uh, so if it's a number of yeah, I wouldn't do it. But like for example, when I did that deep fried Oreos thing, and you had to beat the house record to get it free, that always makes it a little bit more competitive because it's always going to be ever yeah increasing. Or I like the idea. Somebody commented on something the other day, and they were, I don't know if they were telling me about something where there was a food challenge somewhere. Um, and like you had to add, if you beat it, you have to, you can finish it and you can just take the meal or if you want it named after you, you have to add something else to it Ooh. of a certain way. I thought that's a cool idea, yeah. but like the cuisine, I don't know. It would depend on what, you know, if you open an Italian restaurant, it's going to have to be Italian food, right? Yeah. Uh, so, but that's not, it just would have to be something unique, I think. Okay. But it would have a cool prize as well. Maybe like a little mini trophy or not just a t-shirt. Maybe you get a t-shirt, a little mini trophy or something like that. 
and uh, like the golden fork you got down in London. Yeah, a bit like the golden fork. <laughs> 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 that's what's been doing it. I got that, that, yeah German impre- uh, if you're going to do an impression of a German person for me it's either it's Arnold Schwarzenegger even though I know he's Austrian or uh, it's just a, one of the characters from Allo Allo <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to do like a genuine German you have to just be really over the top don't you alright next one from Bilal Zitawi some weird Bilal Zitawi Zitawi <laughs> there we go Zitawi. Weird, mate. he's fucking he's why, got to read him why you him. don't like why don't you like mushrooms Ah, oh, but just because uh, I don't not like the taste of them. They don't really taste like much of anything, do they? But it's more like the texture can, can be really quite unpleasant. You know, especially when you f- commonly meet, I'm eating those, I'm at a greasy spoon and they're just dumping out some canned mushrooms and yeah. boiling them. But it's not only that, it's the texture of them for me. I, I think I've just got some inability to digest them. So like when I eat them, they repeat on me like whole, like I'll burp and I'll get a full mushroom in my mouth, which is gross. <laughs> But at, at the point of eating them, um, I, I don't really hate them or anything. It's not like sprouts where I despise them. It's just that... I'm surprised he do not like him because he's quite the uh, fun guy. <laughs> do you know how long he's been teeing that joke for? I keep hearing him breathing in. Like, <laughs> let me get my joke <laughs> Anymore? <laughs> okay, next one from Anthony WR. When did you realise that you could eat as much as 10 grown men? Was it like a turning point <laughs> Have where... Have you eaten 10 grown men? You actually realised... Not yet, no. I can no. eat a lot. Uh, no, it wasn't really, I've always been able, I've, I've not always been able to eat a lot, but it, a, a big part of it was just adaptation of, um, he's, so, he's checking out, <laughs> none of the oh, questions are for him. Because he's, he's heard me answer that about 500 <laughs> yeah. times before. I, I just, I used to do, uh, I still do it now, one meal a day, right? And naturally if you're eating one meal a day and what you eat is, um, largely kind of nutrient dense, low, uh, calorie, high volume food, like fruits, vegetables, lean meats and stuff like that and you're eating one meal a day, you're going to eat more than your average person. That That is going to develop stomach capacity. And then after that, once I got into doing food challenges, I just realized there was stuff you could do to get, you know, increasingly better at it. Um, what are you eating today? What's your meal look like today? Today? Yeah. Give me a bowl of yogurt, man. Just a bowl of yogurt? Yeah, well, I'm going, I'm going, I'm, we're filming on Thursday, aren't we? I'm going to be eating like my body weight pizza, so right, yeah. not literally my body weight. But um, yeah, but, this is when so I'm- So for the last three weeks then, what what have you been eating? Like what's a day and well, an like, average day look like? There, it isn't really an average day. Okay. At the risk of complicating the question, but so that you know like what? <laughs> well, not. Well, I could say like normally what, it'll be like I think about a thousand calories, and it'll be like a salad, some large salad. But I don't. It's, now I don't eat the same way that I did. You know, when I first started, I eat very little because I'm accounting for like massive caloric overspends. But from Finland was I only got I only came back from Finland like maybe two pounds heavier. So for like for two weeks or maybe a week, I was back in decent shape. So then after that, I the calories went up to something I wouldn't normally eat, like 2,000. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, which is still a massive deficit for me because I need 3,000 to stay the same weight. But I knew that I'd potentially be filming in, you know, God knows, three, four, six days. So I would always kind of eat in a calorie deficit when I'm not filming, basically. I need to get in a calorie deficit after my week and uh, all you can eat five-star hotel. <laughs> you don't really look like fluffy or anything, though. I feel you? fluffy, mate. Yeah. I feel like I, uh, I put on more than two pounds these last seven days. A finite amount of damage that somebody with oh, a yeah. normal appetite can do. In a week, though, you're probably going to come back. Maybe it's all going to be mostly transient, like sodium and um, and water weight and whatnot. And uh, strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry one, daiquiri, man. That one likes a strawberry that, daiquiri. That one might go to at the, the, the yeah. pool bar, yeah. Nice. Which uh, is not good when you've got a two-year-old under your arm after a few of those strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> <laughs> By the pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, next one from Anna Banana 88. Anna Banana 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it's um that's from uh, that's from the Simpsons. That's what it's from. <laughs> People know because of the clown. I think does it. I bet you were buzzing there. She's like, oh wow, <laughs> these lads like singing all about that. You fucking rude. <laughs> I'm not saying you've got herpes, Anna. <laughs> if you, you know that have... herpes can kill elephants. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and we're pretty sure we've answered this before in the past, but if you could have anyone on the podcast from any time period, who would it be and why? Try and refrain from saying whoever we've said before. You, you're supposed to vet these questions and select only the interesting Emma Watson. ones, George. No, um, I would get on uh, Miles Teller. Big fan of his films, apart from the most recent Top Gun film. Josh? Jake Paul, just see it all kick off, unfold. <laughs> I don't think it'd kick off, though, to be honest. Kick off in what way? I just think, I, I, I just, just to see how miserable you'd get. Just and then the comments at, afterwards. I'd be perfectly silent. Oh, Andrew podcast. Tate. <laughs> just it again joking. I, you think I'm letting Andrew Tate through that door did you see we, we, you put a clip out George about like Andrew Tate 
there was like a, there was a reference to Andrew Tate on one of the uh, yeah. like the clips, yeah. But it wasn't like we didn't talk about Andrew Tate. We just he made like an off the cuff comment after the fact and just referenced Andrew Tate. And then somebody commented basically saying. Uh, He's basically he's a good guy. Why are you being so negative? And th- there wasn't actually anything negative said about Andrew Tate. The fact that you'd said it and not like I'll be all, I'll be as negative as I want to be about <laughs> Tate, mate. Next question. I don't care. Uh, next one from Stranger. What beard oil do you use? Fuck. Skip. I, I don't. Uh, I, I can answer that really quick. I don't use a specific brand. People ask me that a lot. I just any any beard oil which is between say like eight and twelve quid. Is a decent one. If any more than that, they're conning you. Any less than that, it might be a bit crap. But Just if you, any bit, oh, you like the smell of. If you watched uh, Damien Toxman's podcast, um, due to inflation, his new scale is now ten and fourteen pounds. Oh yeah, is that what I said? And that was guess I've just added ten percent on because. Oh yeah, that totally life. I never really buy it. It's my mum buys it for me. <laughs> Lunds buys it because no, I, what do they get me at Christmas. So text Adam's mum. Yeah, she might be able to tell you. Yeah, no. uh, next one from Karen Hepner. If you could be placed into any film slash TV series world, which film or series would you pick and why? I think we've had that one before as well, but I liked it. I think I, I we have had it because I said... Uh, well, we have done about 10 Q&As. So <laughs> no, I feel like we've only done like three. Pages. We haven't done that many, yeah. I, I'd be in the TV show called... Uh, at the time I said The Green Wing, which a lot of people won't know. It's like a, a, a fairly short-lived British TV sitcom in a hospital. I, I would quite like that. But lately I've been watching... Uh, the thick of it, which I know you've never seen, but a lot of people like that show. So maybe I'd be in the thick of it. It's a political uh, kind of situational comedy about what it's like, how ludicrous their behaviour is behind the scenes in you know in cabinet and whatnot. Um, so maybe I'd be in that. See, when I read that question though, I see it as any film slash TV series world. So I'm like thinking like a fantasy world or something. You know, oh, like Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings some- Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Lot of the rings, uh, Middle Earth. I'd be in Middle Earth, man. Probably be. Uh, would you reckon I'd be like a dwarf? I was going to wonder what my race would be in Lord of the Rings because, like, Lindsay's like, uh, "Well, you're a bit of a show off, so you'd be an elf." And I'm like, "I'm not a show off. Shut the fuck up. Go. Uh, I don't know. Go listen to what the fuck she's into now, which has pissed me off lately. <laughs> Try to make a reference, there, but I failed. Um, she'd definitely be like a hobbit because she's tiny, right? And uh, she just likes fun. <laughs> she's and she's got always, airy feet. Yeah, she's got a slightly airy feet, <laughs> and she's, mic. she's always positive. And uh, and whatnot, but I think I would be a dwarf in yeah, reality yeah, because yeah, like, mostly like they're kind of a little bit surly, but they're nice when you get to know them. Um, and they're small and hairy and have big beards. And the, we are, so where this wedding was, um, that we were just at, it was there's like mountains in the background. I'll show you a picture afterwards, but it, it was amazing. But it looked like a Lord of the Ringsy thing because Tom is like a big fan, and in his vows, he actually makes reference to Albus, Wolfric, Percival, Brian, Dumbledore. Is that Harry Potter? Harry Potter? Or? Or is Harry Potter? <laughs> you're like, you're oh, fucking fuck testing me, boy. It was bad enough when you I said you'd not seen Lord of the Rings. I thought you were Lord of the Rings. I'm really tempted to scold you with this coffee, but like, I'm not going to. What's the Lord of the Rings guy called? Oh, is, it the <laughs> is it not the same person? No. Is it the same actor? No. They were going to get Michael Gambon to play him, though, weren't they? They did. The, there was like, no. well, no, Ian McKellen was going to, Ian McKellen was going to originally play yeah, that was uh, it. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, right? But he had, he had, I guess that he already done Gandalf at that point. Yeah. But anyways. In Lord what, of the Rings, what did what, he mention in his thing about that then? In Lord of the Rings, <laughs> what are the, um, what, are the that what are the clans called? You know, like, because they go to school, don't they? There's like four. In Harry Potter. <laughs> The houses, <laughs> yeah, the houses on Lord of the Rings. Uh, it, it makes reference to a bunch of like nerdy George, shit, man. That for, the, the one we did last week was actually a good episode. So if you, if you didn't like, see that, forget this one. Go back and watch that one. Like in the vows, they made reference to um, like a bunch of different films. So uh, brought balance to the force. Uh, life is like a box of chocolates. Uh, if I can't have you, I don't want anybody, baby. That's not so into these rings, I've poured my love, my heart, blah blah. blah. And then there's the Dumbledore bit, uh, and then may the force uh, be with us always. So yeah, some nerdy stuff. So Does like I, they like Star Wars and Harry Potter. Like nobody likes a lot of the rings. I thought there were a lot of the rings reference. N- no. Dumbledore, Percival, Brian, Albus. <laughs> you know what? You're not not alone because I uh, my sister came over like, like last uh, this Saturday just gone, and uh, for some reason we started talking about films, and she said she's never seen the Lord of the Rings films either. And so I got even more aggravated. <laughs> the the, the closest you. people around you have not seen this fucking Cause film. It's, cause it's, it's, it's just madness if you've never seen that, man. It's just... How long is it? They're all three hours. They're long. all really long. 
I can yeah. see why you wouldn't want to watch it, yeah. but you still. Who's got three hours? Watch it. When do you have three hours spare? <laughs> when do you, George? What's the next question? I'd have to watch that over a week. You know, like I'd have to watch it on like an evening, like forty minutes at a time. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't. Maybe know. watch Rings of Power. I probably the, uh, the series. I wouldn't know if he was going to beat um, Voldemort at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't answer anyway. What world? TV, film, world, would you? Yeah, because I'm not just Harry Potter, to. obviously. You being Harry don't Potter. know anything about it. I do. <laughs> that, that's about right, though, because he'd be like Harry Potter, which is like the kind of like a shit discount version. I watched the first I, couple I, of Harry Potter. I'm a lot. <laughs> you'd be like that when the they're flying around on their, um, the broomstick, that looks like fun, that. Yeah. Catching that little fly, the golden Gold fly. Snitch. Yeah. So he's just seen Harry Potter, but not Lord of the Rings, naturally. Right, what's the next question? <laughs> next one. Will you be going to the big festival? That's from Jenny Menzies. Do you I know don't, what that is? I don't know what that is. I didn't know what that is. I thought you might know. Sound, sounds fun, but I don't, I don't know what sounds it is. Sounds like something that Kate Evans will be at. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, no, I'm not going to hate festivals or like just general social gatherings of people outside, but um, <laughs> no, I, won't, I won't be there, no. But uh, I'd love to know what it is. So if you, uh, was it Jenny? Jenny, yeah. Let's you should leave a Jenny. comment. Jenny, you Forrest Gump? Jenny. Of course it's Forrest <laughs> <laughs> Such a sad film, though, you know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, I, let us know what it is, Jenny, because I don't know what it is. And I could Google it, but, you know, a bit of uh, audience participation. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> this isn't a question, but I thought it was funny. Uh, Balked Kiwi put, at this point, why not let ChatGPT decide what topic to go with? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea, right? I don't know how that works. Don't you have to, you have, to have an account or something to use that? Yeah. I signed uh, up as a I, contact, I that, do you? contact at Beardme's Food. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Well, I don't want to give a shit if you use that email, but as long as I'm, you're not going to, I'm not getting emails, so good. <laughs> All right, this question from McFry45. Do you guys believe in ghosts or an afterlife? No. Is it not one of those things that as you're getting older, like I think like as you're younger and older, that's when you believe in that stuff. So as you're getting closer to the end, surely then you're going to go, oh, it'd be nice to think of something else. I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm certainly not. Uh, my dad was really, I was raised in a very religious family and uh, my dad was, most of my family religious um, in, in varying degrees. Um, but yeah, no, I don't, um, I'm not saying it's not the case. I'm not certain of it. I'd probably say I'm more agnostic than anything. It wouldn't surprise me if they were an afterlife, but right. I always kind of think I had no memory of anything before I was born. Why would I have any experience of anything after I have left my body? Uh, but I certainly don't believe in ghosts. That's To me, that's just token, man. But Lindsay does, which is fun enough. We always get into debates about, you know, we watch like scary movies and shudder or whatever. She'd be like, oh, I'd be so scared. <laughs> I'm like, of what? I, of ghosts? My grandma's seen a ghost. I'm like, yeah, my grandma also told me she saw a ghost when she was like 12, but my grandma's like two sandwiches short of a picnic. <laughs> so like, I, 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 they're all, why is there no evidence? That I believe what my eyes tell me, you know, or like what science tells me to be more accurate. But like, if you believe them, I, I don't think it's a, a bad thing. Like I yeah. just, I, no, personally, I don't know. Do you, after you watch these scary films, do you not go to bed thinking, whoa? No, I, I don't think I, I like, all. I've never, it not me at all. I find it funny. Yeah, I, I, I don't get scared by it. I try and get like, watch even more progressively, more terrifying people things. Seen, yeah, people getting their dicks cut off and sound fire. That, that was funny though. That was a, that was a horror comedy. Yeah. But um, no, nothing in films, nothing scared. I, I think, think I've seen like one Final Fantasy, which creeps me out a bit. That's not Final Fantasy. Scary. That's a fucking video game. I've watched they did make Final Destination. Destination. Oh, yeah. so that's not really scary. That's all about like how the, these like extreme people scenarios in which they die. Ones. Yeah, but it's real, isn't it? No. Like the, the things could happen. Like a pane of glass could drop on your head. It could do, yeah. But like, I mean, I think the earlier ones were actually, the first one was a good movie, right? But then after that, it became about how how interestingly you could destroy a human body, basically, right? <laughs> like there was, there's one, I can't remember which one it is, but she, she's a gymnast and she does the the double poles. I forget what you call them. And uh, yeah. she like lands wrong and like her whole body breaks and the spine like, and I'm like, that wouldn't happen. You'd hurt yourself, but you she doesn't land on her neck. She like lands odd, but you wouldn't die from that. Right. Or if you did, it would it wouldn't be that grotesque. You know? It wouldn't be that gross. You wouldn't get bits of your fucking spine flying out. But I don't know, man. Did you see that guy getting eaten by a shark in Egypt recently? I did on see it. Yes, did we talk I didn't want to see it. This is comes back to the whole thing about Twitter. Yeah, yeah. It's just been a minefield. I was scrolling down. And I saw this video. I'm like, what the heck is that? Um, and yes, this dude gets just it's Turkey, isn't it? Is yeah. It? Uh, I thought it was Turkey. I thought it was Egypt. We could, well, either, somewhere around there. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah I, I did see it. Rough that, wasn't it? Yeah. Literally a guy f is like swimming. I don't know the full ins and outs of it, is but it you just- him and pull him under? Like, kind of like, like proper jaws, like It's like the, the water goes red. You can see the water go red, can't you, from a distance? Yeah, rough man. And I'm like, oh man, I, shit, I thought it only happened in jaws. Yeah. I mean, I know like it's, it's not going to be a good way to go, is it? Harking back to the episode from a few weeks That's ago. That's got to be a bad way to go. Like, yeah. you know, 
Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, but all right, okay. mm. right. Next question <laughs> from mm. Adventures of a Peggy. Adventures <laughs> of Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't make competitive eating videos, what other videos would you want to Peg make? Pegging videos. <laughs> uh, I think I've kind of like gone over this before. Like, I'd love to do, st- um, you know, like uh, not in a weird kind of overhyped, over the top, Mr. Beastie way. Not that I'm knocking him, but um, I'd love to, you know, like I said that it'd be cool to go see if I could spend time in a, pr- like could I last in a prison yeah, yeah, yeah. overnight or uh, going up a volcano, or, you know, kind of extreme kind of extreme experiences to some degree, but kind of do it in the style that like it's genuine and there's some integrity there. I'm not like just fucking flailing my arms around. Like, yeah, this is I fire, watched bro. the worst Mr. Beast video I've ever seen recently. Yeah. So I, I, it hooked me in I watched it all. It was at, like, we were stranded at sea for seven days, like on a raft. You weren't there, were you? Right. <laughs> so <laughs> you obviously starts off, we are floating <laughs> on this raft for seven days. And it's like, Right, okay. Raft's fucking massive, by the way. And it's probably like four foot off the off the sea. And on all the drone shots, you can see that it's like anchored to a, a point, like to a buoy. So it's not floating. It's because obviously you didn't have any fucking shipping lanes and stuff. So immediately I was like deconstructing it going. <laughs> no, you're just on a, you're on a big fucking raft. And we've only been left with seven days of water. <laughs> so it's like we've been left with seven days of fucking clean water in these barrels. So you're like... All right, just got to be easier, didn't it? And we've only been left with all this wood to build ourselves, you know, some cover. And the only food we've got are Feastables chocolates. And it's like... At this point, it's just a big ad for Feastables. So actually, it got pretty easy, pretty fast, did it? And it was lit up as well. So like, there was a pole, so they got like a, a camera, there were cameras everywhere, big pole. And at the top of the pole was obviously a big fucking light, like a, a light dome like this. So they could see, they had food, they had water. So they just, and they had fucking cot beds. They had like actual like bunk beds. So it's like, so you're basically just going to just sit there for seven days and just try and make it sound as extreme it's as possible. It's a bit kind of like Truman Show. Like, yeah, but I mean like people, I know people, I lost people like Mr. Beast and that. I'm, I commend you for it. So people in the comments will be, will be saying like, oh, don't we knock it? I'm not, not we're just, I think too old. That, I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's meant to be, that's aimed, I think at mostly like under yeah, 20s I, maybe. I wanted like Bear grills. Like, I thought they were going to survive for seven days. Like that, That's the thing about the, when you title your video, right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought props, like if, if they're survive, like catching you fish and you like cast away. When you see the title, you know it's not going to be that, don't you? You weren't stranded at sea. If you were stranded at sea, how are you going to fucking film the thing? We've been here 70D out and you've got like one battery. Like how were you stranded at sea? <laughs> not seeing that Bear Grylls moment though, where he's like, he's jumping over like, like a, a crack onto the other side of this like... I don't know what it is. And then someone's gone there and he's made out like he's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone's gone there, filmed that pan to the right and there's like traffic it's like a motorway there <laughs> yeah that's, t- that's TV but he drank yeah. his own piss in every episode so it's like a props to do you know what I mean yeah yeah you see the one where he got stung by all them wasps <laughs> yeah it's like, like elephant man <laughs> turned yeah. into Benedict Cumberbatch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right next question uh, from J Train Painting what is the wildest thing a fan has ever offered to pay you for can I, can I interject? Peg in. Yeah. <laughs> can you just read out the, the most recent DM that you sent us in the chat about a guided tour? Like that for me, <laughs> that's fucking well mental. <laughs> I don't have, I, oh, it'll be still be, in, be the in the chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike's been messaging us. Sorry, Mike. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, the bit, it, go, it basically goes like this. We're going to be in uh, England um, and... Uh, we're gonna be is. we're gonna be in yeah, but I'm trying, I don't want to give specifics of it away. Uh, we're gonna basically be in in London, um, and wondering if you could give us a guided tour of your home country. <laughs> but there, there was no there was no like <laughs> what they, they're, they're, not pay, they're, they're not they're not asking, but they weren't asking to pay me. I don't know that I would take money for that anyway. I'm not I'm not gonna give. But like, but I in just what fucking world? I don't know. I, would you, like in what world? <laughs> you wouldn't even ask him. Uh, why the fuck would you do it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. St- Stranger's DM'd you and he's like, right between the 14th of August and the 18th of August, I'm gonna be in England. Do you mind giving us a guided tour? I'd be the worst person to give a guided no, tour. I'd be like, as well, I'd be like, uh, that's something over there. That, like, that's that's shit. That's overrated. That's crap. <laughs> As if you're going to be like, oh, yeah, stranger. Yeah, I don't know. I'm jump not... in the old fucking Tesla for four days and we'll visit all the landmarks. <laughs> we'll be driving around. The... What, in London, man? I'm not going to be driving. It'd be like one of those, you know, when you, you get a tour guide to hold up the umbrella to like, follow me around. 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't thought so. But the weirdest thing somebody tried to bit, pa, pay, blah, 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 pay me for was like when I told him, when somebody said, can I buy your undies? I don't know how genuine the offer was. I'd be selling the undies, me, you know. If anyone wants to buy my knickers, DM me. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Imagine if they do now. <laughs> ah. I'm, I'm sure that's not going to happen. Yeah, I know. But um, yeah, that, that somebody tried to buy that. But wanted to buy my undies for me, apparently. Have you ever had anything? You know when you used to do like the videos on like camera reviews and stuff? Did you get any weird DMs? No, nah, I just... Every, it felt like every person I ruined my channel by trying to give away a drone and then <laughs> every person in India DM me saying that they needed please sir my, my dog's dying I need a drone or it's like whatever like that was literally <laughs> I got hundreds of DMs did I yeah from all over like, like India China yeah, like yeah, yeah. Ecuador like all, basically most places that weren't your core audience yeah and it's like how, the, how am I going to get the drone to you if you win the and plus, like, what? Yeah, like, if you if you say like my, my dad, one, didn't one of them say like my granddad's dying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drone, please. It's gonna like cheer me up. Like, what? <laughs> that, that's gonna make somebody specifically not give you the drone because it's just, that's nonsense. Yeah, man, that was horrendous. We'll never, we can't ever do a giveaway on this podcast. It'd just be carnage, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm sure we never. Maybe not a drone. Maybe something a little bit. People aren't gonna be. If we can get that manscape, if we can get that manscape deal, we'll give you a ball shiver. <laughs> yeah. All right, next one from Tal92. One for Josh. Can you give us one of your Navy stories? Ooh. All right, here's a good one. So, okay, oh, he's, he's, br- he's breaking the embargo. No, because we, 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 ta- we, we were chatting, because we went to Hanya on a holiday, which is like next to Suda Bay in, in Crete. So we spent a lot of time there on ship side, a, a lot of stories. Um, everybody were asking me about, about all that. But the one time we were, uh, we'd left Hanya and we'd gone up to Cyprus. So we're off the coast of Cyprus and we were doing, um, it was during like the, the Syria conflict stuff. So the jets were flying from Akrotiri to Syria. These are, <laughs> Why did you ask me what's real? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that I, Syria it, thing. It happened. But we had special forces on board and it was it was like a scene from um, like James Bond or something. So the special forces had come on board and they'd, they'd, do, they'd live on board and then they'd do the training. So I don't know if they were going for, I don't know if it were training exercise or an actual mission, but I'd finished my watch and it was early morning. So it'll probably been like, I'd done the four till eight. So 8 a.m. Went onto the upper decks. Some were rising. Uh, One of the RAF planes came (laughs) like flying across and you just saw like eight people jump out of the back of this this airplane. So the first thing they throw out is like a rib, you know, like a boat and it's on a, um, a parachute. So it floats down and then four guys jump out after it. Then another rib, four guys jump out after it. So they float down, land in the sea, climb in the rib. So there's like two ribs, eight guys, bezzing along, like just like you can just see them on the horizon. Next thing, a submarine surfaces. <laughs> the, 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 put this rib into the submarine, eight guys get into it, and then it, it, it dives again. And I'm like, I've just witnessed an actual film. Like it was yeah. the most wildest <laughs> shit you've ever seen. Most wildest. Most wildest shit you've ever seen. Most wild or wildest. Um, do you see that video at the weekend of a, of a, 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 a they were doing some kind of air show in America in like a fighter jet and something went wrong and both pilots ejected. No. And fortunately the pilot survived, but they just sent this jet <laughs> flying into like some like area, like a, a built up area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently from what I've read, like nobody actually died, but it crashed into like two vehicles. Uh, I don't know where these two vehicles were parked, that it only, a fighter jet only managed to smash into two vehicles, but nobody was in the vehicles at the time. Uh, that seems to happen. Like, there seems to be like air shows all the time and there's always a crash. Isn't there like... I don't know if there's always a crash, but yeah, I get like, what you mean. Off, like, it's often at air shows that things like that happen. I think maybe it's because they're flying so low at the ground, right? So like if, if things go wrong, either it's like, okay, I'm going to die or I'm going to eject. Oh yeah, well, Willow Run air show crash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's like like a, what, what what how much do those cost like probably thirty million each or something probably more for those fighter jets. Oh, at least oh man that's sketchy yeah you can see them eject yeah whoa rough that. Fortunately the canopy went so nobody pulled a goose from Top Gun and hit the canopy <laughs> and, and died. <laughs> yeah it always seems to happen at air shows. Oh, yeah fuck that. Never really got that. <laughs> we ever go to an air show? No. Who look? plane it's like everybody that's sat in that pub at manchester airport watching planes take off and land all the time but that's i suppose it's a bit like uh it's like train spot isn't it and i get why mm. people they kind of catalog it and see what they've seen that's all although i don't, wouldn't do it i kind of understand at some level why they do it it still scares me flying i hate flying yeah, yeah. i hate flying but not because of the fear <laughs> next question next one from woodley 
all-time favourite Arsenal player and why it can't be Henri. That's the only Arsenal player I know. I Fabian Barthez, did he play for him? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, wasn't, I wouldn't have said Henri, actually. For favourite. Um, I think my favourite... Ooh, man, that's tough. I want to say... You'd be shit on this Arsenal fan TV or whatever it was. You got invited <laughs> nah, I'm putting some thought into it. It wasn't Arsenal fan TV for the record. <laughs> it was the official... It was the guy's domain was at arsenal.com. So I was like, ooh. Um, I always really liked uh, Thomas Rosicki. Um, I thought he was like... I actually saw him in an airport. I saw him at Heathrow uh, a while back. Remember, did I tell you that? Probably did, yeah. yeah We've yeah, done a few yeah. of these podcast now. Yeah, I, I saw him. He's shorter than I expected. Um, it's good from you. It was, it's between him and like maybe like Dennis Bergkamp. I love watching. Oh, yeah, Dennis, I thought you would say Dennis yeah. Bergkamp, just because like that, a, a similar level of technical ability to, to myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I, maybe either of those two. But I could have said loads, man. Nazri, Fabregas, all, I, I loved all those players. Even Xhaka, who just went this summer. Oh, bit of a comedy player. Where you go? But yeah, he went to where you go, like Bayer Leverkusen or something. I didn't know that. Devastating man, yeah. As if. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll say Dennis Burkamp, maybe. Fair one, fair one. Um, have you ever regretted a challenge? That's from BC Lewis. Oof, yeah, plenty. Uh, regretted, I suppose. I know you don't know what he means, George, but like, what do you reckon that means? Do you I regret think, it in what sense? Uh, like, it, it tastes like shit, or you got sick afterwards, or... Yeah, it's made you unwell, or yeah. something. Like, or, you, or they were massive pricks, and you're like, fuck these guys. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Uh, like, probably anything spicy. I, I, I don't regret having done it, but that really, the last really spicy one I did was that, uh, that, bowl, that ramen thing in uh, yeah, right, Nashville yeah. where you got like eight minutes and it was like brutally, brutally spicy. That I, I, I kind of thought, would it have been better to do it? In, you know, in retrospect, I was like, would it have been better to just not do that one and do a different video and not have been written off for like two days and felt all the pain? <laughs> but people still watched it and some people... I think still enjoyed it. And I, I kind of quite, in a way, I, I, I don't like losing, but I quite like losing in yeah. rest of it. Because I'm, you know, people go, oh, well, you win every time. So when I lose, I, I'm, I'm, I think it's a good thing at some level. So, but maybe that one, I didn't really enjoy the, the time after that. I can't remember which one of your old videos you had, a, I think you had a Mohican, but when you had like safety goggles on and you had gloves on and they started steaming up, or like that looks like a horrendous that situation. That chicken wing thing, yeah. That was, that was bad, yeah. But like, yeah, basically any spicy one, really. Next one from Sigrid Deep. Would you rather have arms for legs or legs for arms? <laughs> Whoa. Deep that. Uh, Deep that. Sigrid. I th I've got quite strong arms, so I'm going to say I would rather have arms for legs. Think about it. They're more opposable. Like you can't, you, you can't write with, or some people can write with their feet. So would you just, just have four arms then? One. Arms yeah. for legs or legs for arms? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I arms. reckon that's an easy one because they're more opposable, right? You've got more dexterity with you. Monkeys are basically like... They've got four arms, four haven't arms, they? Yeah, yeah kind of, yeah. They can, like, open bananas with the feet. A useful life skill, I imagine, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, next one from Karen Evans. <laughs> Has any food challenge... I'll give a dead rude, then. You could, like, pick your nose and have a... <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> need more coffee. Uh, you can wipe like... yourself off with your foot. People are into that. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> 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 Has any food challenge ever given you food poisoning? No. And you know what like really winds me up about that? I saw a video the other day. I won't say who it was, right? And it, the video went up and it was like the title of the video was, this restaurant gave me food poison. I thought, you fucking <laughs> you, you, might, you, have to, you might have to be like, because A, you don't like, de depending Jeez, on like what it is. No, no, because it does wind me up that because like, you don't know you got it from there unless that's the only place you've eaten yeah. in like three days. You don't know it's from yeah. there. B, you could say, well, yeah, people should know that this restaurant's giving people food poisoning, but you don't know that they gave it to you. And they, they certainly didn't give it to you willfully. So it might have just been contaminated. You might have touched a toilet at this restaurant or something like uh, to flush it and that had bacteria on it. Um, so it really winds me up when people do that because that's, that's a business essentially that you could like, you could be destroying jobs there by doing that. Uh, but no, no, I've never got food poisoning. I had it once when I was really, really young and I don't know how I got it. And most people that get, get food poisoning don't know how they got it. So if you watch, see a review on a restaurant that says, they gave me food poisoning, they probably didn't. They might have, but they probably didn't. I think I got it a few weeks ago. Yeah? So we were in here doing a podcast and then came out, started transferring <laughs> the footage over and I just... Just went like probably that toilet. Like that. It doesn't look like it's been cleaned in a while. Have you seen his new? Uh, he'll give it to himself. He's got his new Instagram page that he's making food on. 
Making food on now, George. Yeah. Well, well, well that's the next episode. Bring, make us some food, but like, don't lace it with arsenic or anything. No. Antifreeze cocktails. <laughs> make just sure I cook the chicken properly. Us, yeah, don't just avoid chicken altogether, right? Bring in some food for us. Yeah. You reckon a little section? Yeah, yeah. So, I do. Always thinking. Um, next one. I think this is Greg or Siwek, but it's spelt differently. Oh, it keeps coming the w. on YouTube it, all the time. S I W. Change the spelling on his name. Um, how much money did Cheesecake raise? I don't think it was revealed yet. It was, it was revealed. I'll tell you if you give me a second. Uh, a few grand, wasn't it? I don't always think of like the girl from Ipanema. That song is, that's what I always think of when I think of like, uh, you know, lift music. Uh, the song uh, raised 4,953 and one penny. Uh, and then I like, because I was like a little bit, uh, I don't want to say it. Disappoint? I think underwhelmed. I, I, yeah, not underwhelmed because like it's Spotify. Majority most people don't download it, and that's where most of the money comes ah, from. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, so I then just uh, I, which I thought I didn't say at the time. But I think I'm the next year. I'm gonna just I'll just match whatever. Yeah, it makes well because then it feels like it's more. Because I kind of feel more like of an incentive as well for people to. Do yeah. It. Plus, I kind of feel like I'm not really doing anything. Yeah. Like I'm. Oh yeah, we're raising money for charity, but I'm not really. Okay, I'm paying for the song and everything like that, but I'm not really doing anything. So the Stroke Association were really, uh, really appreciate. They send me emails and stuff all the time, like, oh, thanks, Adam, you know. And, uh, so th- to anyone that downloaded it or streamed it, it, it really does mean a lot. And uh, so in in total, it's, it's but like over the, all the songs, it's way over 10 grand now, which is a yeah. lot of money. So thank you. Next one from Danny VDB. This could be for both of you. What is the highest time ratio you spent in hours of editing to complete? A video. Danny VDV commented on the, the one of the last ones, didn't he? Because uh, one of the comments was like, I thought it was somebody that I mm. knew and it turned out not to be him. And I think Danny was a bit upset because like you showed me a picture and it was his gym selfie. <laughs> I, I commented went, on it. Oh, it's not him. Yeah. I, I, Danny, I wasn't uh, I wasn't taking a piss <laughs> out of the selfie. I wasn't underwhelmed by the, the gym selfie. I'm sure it was great. don't remember it, but um, <laughs> uh, what the longest time spent editing? Yeah, for one video. Oh, for like fucking 42 hours. For that, uh, for one in Canada. Was that an actual like full 42 hours? It was 42 hours, like... including all the filming. So like not just right. that, I couldn't tell you how much was editing, but it was that one where it, I knew that <laughs> I'll always take way more time over edit. It's, that wouldn't be a normal edit like that long, obviously. But um, it was one where I knew the theme was mega compelling. So like I wanted to make the video as good as the theme of the video. Yeah. It was that one where they, it, it wasn't a heart attack grill, but they spanked you. Do you remember me telling you at the time? Um, and I just thought this is a really, people are going to really want to watch this. Yeah. So I've got to do the video justice. So I picked up, like I spent ages picking the song, like probably t- took me like three hours to pick the intro song. I spent ages getting the right drone shot. Like I went to about four different locations to get the right drone shot. People probably don't give a fuck. Could have just used some stock, but I did all that. And then the edit, I didn't like at the beginning. So I restarted it, which I never do. I fully like, I'd done about four hours. I was like, fuck it, binned it, start again. Wow. Um, and it, yeah, in the end, it wasn't even the most watched one in the series. <laughs> but yeah, that's that the case. Yeah, but yeah, for like forty hours to make from start. To I finish. honestly can't answer that. I don't know. I, I remember the first music video that we did that took so. I remember like that timeline was just horrendous because there was I, I don't know twelve takes or something. The mask. And we couldn't. Up. Yeah, we couldn't. I couldn't multicam it, so I had to like literally stack twelve takes on top <laughs> of each other and then manually go through it and do, like unselect it's probably the worst software to do it on as well but I just remember that taking so long then, had to, then we'd colour it and then the final scene was which was like on the fly wasn't it like we're going to mask so that there's four Adams at the end of it so like <laughs> and you just I remember you at the time <laughs> and it like me, me like I think Blue it was saying he's, Blue, like, yeah, yeah. he's like jo- uh, Josh it's not going to work and I'm like yeah Josh man like, look because there's going to be different light in each yeah. scene you're like it's going to work and to be fair in the end it, it worked together I mean it's a shit video but it's supposed <laughs> to be shit isn't it you know for shit for what it is yeah 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 yeah, wait until we do this year's, man. Fucking cinematic production. <laughs> have to send off to Netflix for make it a Netflix original. <laughs> Need some funding. All right, we'll finish on this last one from Danny Mitchell, MMA. <laughs> Has he learned to spit in a tube properly yet, the daft twat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Thanks, Danny. I spit in the tube properly the first time, but they've clearly just... Ma- I said either I, I, they messed up a test or I'm actually an alien or something, for and they just don't recognise my know what Yeah, for reference, we, we've got... Um, <laughs> We're doing a little, we've got an episode that's been in the works since Danny was on 
the first time, what, what nine months ago. Um, more than that, it was like more than some, a year ago. Me and um, Adam are doing an ancestry DNA test because it turns out that Adam's family name is the same as my family name on my mum's side. Oh, so please, God, split the <laughs> can't be related. <laughs> hey, hey, we don't, we don't know. So uh, let's just we'll leave that at that. We're gonna do a breaking beard. Let's do breaking beard. Breaking beard. Okay, so in breaking beard, Josh, you are one step away now from a forfeit. Which one step closer to the edge? And I'm about to so break. do we need to get like a forfeit in hand? Yeah. We need a forfeit. So like we need to somebody needs to pick people a in the comments. George, by the way, suggested a very tame forfeit of like <laughs> having a. Josh has to drink, or whoever loses has to drink a liter of Sprite. I'm like, what? Maybe add some bananas <laughs> to the equation. Well, yeah, do that. Pe- Pepto Bismol. I'm going to pull this back. How, how far away am I from the end? I mean, oh, sorry, how, how far away is Adam from the end? Like, what do I need to do? Hold off for I how many weeks? I think he's like about two or three away. Ah, ooh. But if you lose this week, you're done yeah, for. I'm going to lose this week. <laughs> All right, confidence. I've had a week of um, R&R. Like, my, my brain muscle is recharged. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go first? Adam, because if I fuck it up straight away, we don't we know the end result. <laughs> like Penno's right, so if I miss my first one, he's a bit more confident about yeah. the second. Okay. Which of these languages has the longest alphabet? Is it Russian, Greek, or Arabic? Arabic, I think, has got to be. Final answer? Yes. It's not, it's Russian. Oh. So Russian, has, bum, bum, bum. Russian has 33, Greek has 24, and Arabic has 28. Oh, so Arabic's the shortest. No, Arabic was the middle. Greek had 24. Oh, 24. So it's said 34. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll be damned. I was wrong. At an advantage now, Josh. Right. <laughs> Don't mean fuck off. <laughs> uh, how long did dinosaurs live on the earth? Was it between 100 to 150 million years, 150 to 200 million years, or 200 plus million years? I've got no idea on that one. I, just, uh, I have no idea. I've... More than 200 million years? Final oh. answer? Uh, God, George, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Is it my final answer? You tell me. Yes. <laughs> It's not. It's 150 yeah. well done, to 200 million years. Fucking wanker. So it's it? around 165. Your Christmas bonus just went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adam. Uh, how many elements are on the periodic table? Oh, fuck, I hated science when I was a kid. Is it 78, 96, or 118? I think it's 96. When you include all those mad, like, gases and, you know, like, xenon and all that shit. Is that a final answer? Yeah, what did I say, 96? 96. Yeah. It's not, it's 118. Bugger me. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not even including adamantium, which is a fictional element. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. What These is... are getting fucking harder, man. Mm-hmm. Well, people saying I'm giving him... Like, well, yeah, you are giving questions. him easy ones, but mine are getting even I'm harder. Like, I'm, I'm like the kids' trivial pursuit. I'm on mastermind here. <laughs> right, what is the highest grossing movie of all time? Is it Titanic... Avatar or Avengers Endgame? Is it adjusted for inflation? <laughs> Avengers? Final answer. I think so, but I kind of remember. Yeah. Can I steal? Because I, I was no. thinking it's like Avatar. Well, I oh, wanted yeah. to say Avatar. Right, well, you've said it now, right? What's the answer to judge? It is Avatar. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. How's Fuck that you, happened? motherfucker. How's that happened? What? what do you mean? Avatar. Yeah. Do you mean how's that I don't know either. Because it's I don't think it's a great movie. You were all ten when it came out, the first one. You don't you don't remember the hype? Just gave me a headache, that film. Alright, I don't three D was a big thing. Next one. <laughs> yes, mate. Which song, as of recording, is number one in the official UK Spotify charts? Oh fuck it's some bullshit mumble rap probably. <laughs> is it what Was I Made For by Billie Eilish, Dance the Night by Dua Lipa, or Sprinter by Dave and Central C? That's now. As of now. As of right now. I know none of those songs. So I'm going to say it. The first two were like part of the Barbie soundtrack, and then the last one is like a rap song. I'm going to say that, what was the, what was the last one? Sprinter by Dave and Central C. 
Is the act Dave and Central C, or is it like two acts and one? It's of, two different ones. So Central there's a, C so there's a, mu- Dave. a musician out there who's called Dave. Yeah. Like his act name is Dave. Yeah. Why Dave? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say that one. Can we? Oh man, I should have heard him because like if I could, I would have just if you played them for me, I would have picked the most terrible one. So uh, I'm about to say the last one. It is the last one actually. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh no. So Josh, you have to get this right. Oh. Or- Jobs fucked. Right. What is the most common standard number of frets on an electric guitar? <laughs> <laughs> is it? See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bassist. So <laughs> is it 22, 24 or 26? 22. 24. I don't even know the answer to that. Do you know, George? Well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know it. off the top of my head now. Very honest of you to say that. Uh, 24. Final answer. Yeah. I think that's wrong. I think that's too many. I think it's 22. It is 22. <laughs> so let us know in the comments what the forfeit should be. <laughs> we are a, de- demo- a democratic society after all, so uh, feel free to are go we in. Are one next week? No. No. So you've got here. plenty, so you got so plenty of time. Out. Mate, I, you know, I fucking tell you what, <laughs> what we could do. I'm going to Sweden. I could bring some Sirstrom in back, some of that stinky fish. Oh. Yeah, go on, man. We'd probably have to, f- we couldn't probably film it in here, though. Oh, is it that bad, is it? Fumigated, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's like, that's so bad that it's like people, most people can't eat it. We'll film it outside and we'll like, we'll just overlay it. it. Up. Yeah. We we'll could just vlog, yeah, vlog a bit and just put it on the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring the, All right, bring the old that, that's, that, that's actually a good way yeah? of doing it. Yeah, yeah. Should we do that? Like, everyone what, in, what is it like? Is it like aged fermented yeah, fish so or it's, something like It's partially rotten fish. Does it taste nice? God. Uh, I don't think it says nice, mate. No. Why does it exist then? It's a, well, it's a bit like a delis- delicacy, you know, like... Can some... I put it on a cracker? You can... <laughs> put it on I don't know it's going to help you. <laughs> put it on whatever you like, mate. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments if you if you want to see that, because I think that, that seems it like might be fate nice. almost. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to Sweden. That's yeah. what they're known for. Yeah. Je- actually, when I went to Finland, you know, I, I met up with Jesse. Finland's next to Sweden. He wanted to try and get some Sirstrom in. Right. And I was relieved when... It, apparently, it's a seasonal thing. Like, the season starts at the end of August. Ah. So, you couldn't get any at the time, but, like, I'm assuming in Sweden I'm going to be able to get some somewhere. There we go, then. That sells that. Hopefully. <laughs> Should we finish on a festival? Yeah. It's time for a... Festival. Coming from you. So we've not actually got a festival. We've got two of them Reddit ships. Ah, oh, yeah. So there's no festival. I think they're better. Yeah. I prefer them. They're more chance of being real. Yeah, and they're quite they're quite detailed. Yeah. And we get we get to listen to George's voice for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't as long as the uh, the Grinch ones either. That one before. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. I let that one rip. <sighs> there's something stuck in my windpipe there for a little while. It's better than your shit mushroom. pants. True, right. no, not mushroom. He's got a mushroom in his pants at front. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't get it, he's got a little dick. Anyway. <laughs> okay. First one. My boyfriend eats tuna by candlelight is the title. <laughs> this could be Mrs. Beard. He eats tuna fish sandwiches in the bathroom by candlelight and calls it a vibe. I didn't find out about this until today, just now when he got up and said he was going to make some tuna fish sandwiches for his bath and asked if I wanted to make some and join him. Apparently this is a regular occurrence and he's been doing it for years whenever he would take a bath or smoke a dab pen in the restroom before he moved out of his mum's. I'm not like upset. I guess I'm just posting here because it felt like a confession enough. I told him that if my food touches bathroom air or surfaces, I'd lose my shit and we laughed about it. So it's not a deal breaker, but God, is it weird. That is a bit weird. I mean, like, to each his own. Doesn't, uh, to me, I'm not, I wouldn't stress over somebody. Like, if if I found out that Lindsay ate, like, something in the bath, it wouldn't stress me out. But it's a strange thing to do. Like, I, I just think if, you, if you're bathing, why would you take food in? That, yeah, I mean, it'd be that hot as well. Like, if you're having a hot bath, how, how can you even eat? And why would you not just eat and then get in the bath? Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's, for me, like, I need to enjoy food. Like, it's almost a sacred experience for me to eat. Like, especially on days off anyway. Like, when I'm, you yeah. know, I'll sit down, just enjoy the meal. And I wouldn't want to kind of do that the same time as bathing i mean i don't bathe anyway i just take showers yeah um but like i wouldn't want to be eating in the bath man like you could, you're supposed to be washing yourself aren't you yeah plus you, you don't want your tuna sandwich to get warm yeah why do, I and mean, why tuna i want my tuna it, it's cold so that implies as well that he's only eating like he specifically eats just tuna in the in the in the bath yeah like so he doesn't eat say one day a chicken sandwich in the bath there's some relationship between tuna and him bathing which is a bit odd 
but I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not as bad as the Grinch thing, is it, from last week? So, yeah, I'd, yeah it'd be weird. I imagine, imagine dropping bits of tuna in your bath as well. Uh, <sighs> all right, this next one. Cat girl girlfriend is out of control, is the title. So I met this really incredible girl and we hit it off. We shared a lot of common interests and spent pretty much every waking moment together. She had this really weird obsession with being a cat girl. I don't know if that means dressing up like cat woman or like being a cat. Like meowing it, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was kind of hot, so I didn't really care too much. Even though it was pretty early into our relationship, we decided to move in together and it was pretty good for the first couple of weeks, but then things started getting weird. I'm not going to beat around the bush and I need you to understand that I'm being 100% serious. She started pissing on the carpet when she's frustrated with me. She says it's part of her, so it is more of a cat than cat woman. She says it's part of her kinship or something. But when we have an argument, she'll just squat and piss somewhere in the apartment. I don't know what to do. I'm Aww. losing my mind and my entire apartment smells like urine. I do genuinely enjoy her company, but this is getting out of hand. I need help, please. Come, that can't be real. It can't be. <laughs> Can it? It can't, it can't be real. I throw her out window and see if she lands on her feet. Like a coward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw a meme. It wasn't a meme, really a meme. It was a picture of this. Somebody just found like a, a toddler who'd been pissing in a drawer. He had a piss drawer. Oh, <laughs> I think I've seen just something like that. His drawer just had loads of piss in it. That's pretty funny. Um, a bit of a toddler. Why, you wouldn't like, I mean, I don't care how much you want to be a cat or identify as a cat or whatever. Surely you're not going to just start pissing on the floor and then just let that aroma. Th- I mean, like at a certain point, imagine you've been there like a year. You're just going to be walking around on soggy piss floor mm. and it's gonna, everything's going to smell like piss. <laughs> but you're the only one that's losing there. I don't want to smell my, like, don't get me wrong. I don't want to smell your piss, but I don't want to smell my own piss either. No. Stagnant piss. Stagnant pissy apartment. Well, just regular, but even fresh piss doesn't smell nice. It's going to eventually it? start stagnating it. That, yeah, I mean, like, that's just a weird, very weird thing. Like, I'd be like, I'm there, hooped. I wanted more content as well. Like, is, is that the only cat like thing she does? Because ultimately, that just means you like pissing on the floor. It doesn't make you a cat, does it? Yeah, like, does she lick herself and clean herself? <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, cough up like <laughs> balls of hair and stuff. Or, <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. That's, that's just strange. I don't really know what to say about it. Made me feel a bit ill, though, the thought of walking around in a pissy apartment. Mm. That's another one in the bag, boys. Well, what a way to end the podcast. I'd give that a four out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Maybe <laughs> shouldn't a five. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you enjoy an average podcast, tune in next week for another average installment of this horrendous show. And, the low uh, average. We might be eating some uh, fermented fish. Well, that may, might be worth tuning in for. In fact, I'm going to try my damnedest to get some. And by damnedest, I mean I'm just going to go to like a Swedish soup Tesco and be like, yo, you got any stinky fish? <sighs> but in Sweden, You've got to get like the stinkiest one though. I don't think it comes in variants, man. Yeah, I think like it's like it, you it, get it rotten fish, is rotten fish. Surely they're like the some that are more like worse than others though. What's it called? Surströmming. So you spell it, I think you spell it S-U, although I don't think it's necessarily a U. It might be one of those. Uh, anyway, S-U-R-S-T. R O Oh yeah. M M I N G. Do they like have different like you know like whiskies like aged different years and stuff? Malted fel- uh, I don't think so. Fermented think. Baltic sea herring. Yeah, I think it's just a bit I don't think it I think it's once it's kinda of turned, it's turned, right. mate. I That's think it. it's, you can eat it whenever. Yeah, you can still eat it, but I think it just I don't think it gets any worse than Ooh, this could put a, a um Spanner in the works. Spanner in the works. So apparently it's it's uh illegal to take it on a plane claiming that the pressurized cans of fish are potentially explosive. Oh. Mm, so that could... What about like in, you got, your, in your checked luggage? I think the point of taking it on a plane is the... Like obviously the change in air pressure. Can you not get it anywhere in this country? <laughs> explosive? Yeah. You, can you order it? Uh, is it orderable? I think you can order it on Amazon. I'll have a look when I get home, just order it for when I get back. Forget bringing it back. I'll just <laughs> <laughs> imagine that exploding. Some <laughs> <poof. laughs> Larry fellas there, oh. some things of fish. <laughs> it's, a, it's a better place for it to explode though, because like, they replace the air, don't they? And that's why air, airplanes don't smell when you're on a. Right. Because the air is constantly replaced. I right? think that would stay. <laughs> that stay. Like if you fart on a plane, it sting, sticks around no, for a while. I don't it? think. No, what planes are you getting on? My, oh, wait, maybe on your right, yeah. airplanes, which are basically buses with wings. I think normally, like, if you fart on a plane, it's gone in about four seconds, right? I think. Maybe it just don't smell it. I don't know. Right. Anyways, see you next time.